What do you want to do instead? What do you want to do in this situation so that you can turn things around for yourself and end up creating and having the relationship that you absolutely want? The number one thing that you first need to do before you do anything else is regain your power, is come from a position, what I call a position of power. Because when you come from a space of power, it doesn't really matter what he does because you have the control, you have the choice. You get to dictate the terms of what happens in your dating and relationship life. And that's the most important thing that you can possibly do is giving yourself control and power over what you experience in your life and taking response, taking ownership of how you experience your life. That's the by far the most effective and important thing that you can do in your dating life. And it also will make him and other men around you more attracted to you when you come from this position of power because a lot of those mistakes that you that I talked about earlier or that you might make in kind of other situations, that those will start going away because you'll start feeling differently about yourself when you're coming from that space of power because you'll start feeling like you're more valuable, like men will start seeing you as being more valuable because you'll start getting into alignment with feeling like you're, in a, you're a valuable woman Woman, you'll start acting like you you feel like you're a valuable woman you'll start thinking and believing that you're a really powerful and valuable woman and so men will start treating you that way because you won't be putting up with anything else and the most effective way to put yourself in a position of power is something we've talked about in some of these other videos which is doing what I call the the abundance principle but using the abundance principle and what you need to do is create an experience an abundance of quality men in your dating life. So get yourself in orbit of men who are interested in you and start going out on dates with men. And it's it's really hard to get caught up on one guy and what one guy is doing when you have a bunch of guys who are fighting for your time and attention and you're going out on other dates with other men because all of a sudden it's like, okay, well this guy ignored me and that sucks, but it's like, oh, I'm going out with all these other guys. And so, you know, it's like, you know, how much time can I really get caught up and angry and frustrated and focused on this dude that, you know, is, is doing something that I don't like when I've got all these other great things going on in my dating life. And so that that's the most powerful, that's one of the most powerful positions that you can have is a world of abundance. And what it, what it does is it, it gives you this position where you're willing to walk away, which is another thing that I talk a lot about. And it doesn't matter how long you've been with a guy or how much you've invested in him, you have to be willing to value yourself and value your life and value your world enough to say, hey, I'm only willing to put up with so much before I'm willing to walk away. And especially if you're just starting to date a guy, like I, I talk to women all the time and they're like, oh yeah, I've, what was seeing this guy for a week, right? Or sometimes they aren't, they haven't even been on a date with the guy yet. And they're like, oh, he ignored my text. And it's like, well, you guys aren't even really seeing each other. You know, you're just kind of talking over uh, online dating or whatever. And you, you, you haven't actually met each other in person yet. So there's no real thing there. And so you, you have to be willing to walk away if people aren't treating you well, if they're not treating you right, if they're not doing things that like valuable women, they don't put up with behavior from men that makes them feel less valuable, that makes them feel like they're taken for granted, and that makes them feel like they're being treated like an option. Valuable women that val that really value themselves, they, they don't allow that into their lives. Life is too short to be taken for granted by anyone. And so you shouldn't be allowing people into your life that are taking you for granted. Now, if it's just a friendship or whatever, that's, it could be kind of a different situation. But, you know, if, if somebody really likes you, they're going to be contacting you back. They're going to value you. They're, they're going to do all these things. And so those are the kinds of people that you want to let into your life. Those are the kinds of men that you want to let into your life. The men that value you, the, the men that treat you well, the men that see you as the amazing, beautiful woman that you absolutely are. And, and so you, you want to be in this position where you are willing to walk away because that is the most powerful position that you can possibly be in. So 
you know, not to use it as a manipulation tactic. A lot of women are like, oh, okay, so I'm going to take this and now I'm going to manipulate him and use these kind of tactics or give him an ultimatum and try to use that to manipulate him. And, and I'm not using, I'm not saying use it to manipulate him, but use it as a tool to be like, hey, I, I'm legitimately not going to deal with anything that doesn't really work for me in my life. And, and any men that don't really value me enough to get back to me when I message them and I'm talking to them and we're having a conversation. And so the only way that you can really effectively do this without driving yourself crazy is by using the abundance principle. The last thing that we kind of need to talk about here is you know how you're going to deal with him in the future and really what you need to do is think of him like a cat in this situation where if you ch go and chase a cat right so you can message him if you want to and you know uh, th there there are kind of different things that you can send him you can you know send him a reminder like hey you know like <laughs> you know like you haven't responded th to this yet or something like that i've i've got some different text messages that, that can be really powerful to use in situations like this that I'm going to be putting into the program that I'm creating. However, it, it's one of those things where it, it's not, that's not necessarily the direction that you want to go, right? Because if you're, it's like, like I said, it's like a cat. If you go and chase a cat, right? And the cat doesn't want to hang out with you right now, it's going to run away, right? And if you're outside, it's going to continue running away until it's completely gone. And you're like, where'd the cat go, right? And it's like, okay, well, the cat's gone and the cat's not coming back until the cat wants to come back. And so you want to wait, you're going to have to wait until he wants to come back, until he wants to connect with you again, until he wants to have a conversation with you again. And if you want to have things go well with him, you can't just start attacking him and belittling him when he does come back, right? If, if a cat comes back and you slap him when he comes back, what's the cat going to do? Run off again, right? because he doesn't want to get slapped. But if the cat comes back and you pet him and you know you start talking to him and you know you 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 train him on how to behave when he's around you, when the cat's around you, then the cat will start behaving the way that you want him to behave. And so that if you want to continue to have him in your life, what you need to do is one, make sure that you're coming from this position of power so you're not completely caught up on him and trying to manipulate him. But at the same time, you know, have a conversation with him and talk about talk to him about you know what you want and what you don't want in your life and you know show him ways that kind of make you feel bad, make him work to get you back right and make sure that he understands that when he does things like that where he's like ignoring you or whatever that you you frame it in a way where he understands that it makes you feel less attracted to him that it makes you feel less interested in him that it makes you feel like you know whatever ways that it actually does make you feel so that he understands what's going on with you and he's not completely clueless because maybe this is the way that he's interacted with other women in the past and he just doesn't get it right because there's a, most guys out there the overwhelming majority of guys out there they don't get it and if you let them kind of run all over you and treat you badly then they'll just continue to do that and so you have to put up boundaries you have to communicate what your needs and desires are you have to be able to frame things in a way that he understands what works and what doesn't work for you so that he's not just running all over you like that and so in closing don't try to force him instead create abundance for yourself create power for yourself so that you can continue to attract and keep him or have other men in your life so that you're not just stuck on him and you can actually find a great guy that does come into your life who treats you well and values you and makes you a priority and 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 sees and realizes what kind of an amazing woman that you are